We took dirt and made an oven and then used that oven to build a hot fire and then we purified that dirt and we're firing it in the oven. And so in the oven right now, we have the world's tiniest rocket stove. making a mess. You sure are. Of the kitchen. It's kind of the general theme with this project. It's like, just use everything in Rose's kitchen. Rings of power. Okay, so it would be really cool to have like a little potter's wheel here mm -hmm. with a potter. Mm -hmm. Who knew what he was doing? Mm -hmm. Looks like I'm actually polishing a turd right now. <laughs> I, you have to stop. Stop what? Being so charming? What? No, you're talking Being about handsome? polishing a turd. Now it just now looks I'm... like you really are just... Oh, gross! <laughs> that was disgusting. When has anyone ever done this with a turd? I don't know, but Come you on. just... That looks neat. It's like a giant chocolate Timbit. Except but, for better. But it's gonna have mezcal. I was gonna say, except for it holds mezcal. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of, I think well, that would be hard to drink out of. Why? What do you mean? Well, the edge is so thick. Well, to get it finer, you'd have to be a craftsman. Anyways, I think this will work. That's what I'm aiming for right now, is like, I want to spend like an hour and make a working thing. Hey. So, voila. We found some local knowledge. They told us where the sticky mud was. So we got some bags. This we kind of roughly screened already, but we're going to finish screening it. And for that, you're going to need um, your wife's strainer from the kitchen. Right. We're making two of the most awesomest things you could ever make. One involves fire, and the other one also involves fire. This is just sticky dirt. Like, it has clay in it, but it doesn't have... It's not pure clay. There's hmm. lots of other stuff. So we are gonna make two separate types of clay. One, we're just gonna sift, and then use it just like that. The other one, we have another process we'll show you. Okay. So this is just straight out of the ground. Sticky mud. Okay. It looks like really good stuff. Yeah. This is an old jug. Mm -hmm. But now that we're putting a filter end on it, like an old, it's like an old piece of one of the girl's pajamas. <laughs> and we're gonna cut this end off. This is just the screened dirt. Look at this. The process has begun. This dirt might only have, um, it might only have like 10% clay in it. But we are gonna get that 10% out. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a long time, yeah. But it'll go, yeah, you see it dripping? Yeah, just the once One, or twice. Two, huh. three. There's only gonna be like a skim of clay on the top. Huh. I don't know how thick it'll be, but we will be able to scrape it off and get the pure clay out of here. And that's the magic. And then we can make, then we can make something. So it's been a day. It's all the water's gone. Mm -hmm. And let's check. So there's, you can see there's like some little sticks and things on the top. Mm, yeah, so gonna but look at what's under there. I'm glad to see you have my spatula. Uh -huh. Isn't that delicious looking? Yeah. Are you zooming in on that? I was. I look look at that. Oh man. 
yeah I can start to see like a little bit more siltiness and oh, it's you becoming can see, like, less the sparkles now yeah so I'm just oh, gonna leave that. that stuff okay we could purify this more but I think this is good we're gonna make something very special out of this I don't know if this is gonna work but it might I'm gonna try and pour this mud. I'm just gonna treat it kind of like a cement. Huh. I'm gonna use these two jugs. Okay, so what's going on? Well, our jug's floating a little bit. Okay. So I just need a rock. And then I need a bigger rock. Okay. All right. That'll do, and we'll just keep it in the shade for a couple days. This was a big mistake. Really? Well, yeah. It, this wouldn't breathe at all, of course, so it's just wet at the bottom. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Okay, the thing we gotta add to this, which we haven't done yet, is we gotta add a fuel and air inlet at the bottom. I'm just gonna dig it out. Mm -mm. Handy. So okay. air and fuel is gonna come in there. Okay, cool. Okay, I think I'm just going to put this in the shade for like a couple days mm -hmm. and hopefully that doesn't crack too bad. The thing is, even if this cracks a little bit, it doesn't matter. It's still going to work. It's time to put these in the fire. So I just burnished them a little bit with a spoon to make them kind of shiny. They're cute. Okay, and then we're going to build a fire in front and keep stoking the one in front. Okay. But once that gets going in behind there, then I won't have to try and throw firewood in, like, behind it. You know what right, I mean? Right, yeah. Cool. How do they look? They don't look good. No? I broke them. What? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, they broke. Can you see them? Not really. Oh yes. Aww. Yeah. Why do you think they broke? I, I, they just weren't dry enough yet. I kind of jumped the gun. Hey, look wait, at this wait, one. Wait, wait, wait. I can still drink out of that one. I mean, this one's got a little hole in it. Just a little hole. But look at this one. Don't that one's. I'm gonna drink out of that one still. Okay. Well, we'll just have to make pizza. Just have to make some pizza, I guess, and then we'll fire these. Fire the other ones. Soon. Have a look in the back corner there. I see. Ooh, that's hot. Uh, oh. Will they be whole? Oh, oh boy. Looks like it. Wow. Blazing hot. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try I'm and I'm just gonna put them up here. Okay. Oh man, that was just seconds. Look at my fingerprint burnt onto them. Oh brother. No, seriously, it just. Oh wow. That was like beautiful. <laughs> oh boy. This is the big test. No, first the scorpion. Sorry? Yeah, scorpion. What do you What do you mean? I need you to grab a scorpion and put it in each glass there. In each glass? Yeah. With my fingers? All right, no. you can use a spoon. Is that what you do? Yeah. When you have special guests, don't break them. I'm trying to be don't really careful. Let all careful. the poison out. Gross. Yikes. Ready? Yeah. And he goes. So the cool thing is these things don't, they're not glazed. Nope. Like they don't technically hold water, but of course they do hold water. Or at least they hold Mezcal. Mezcal or... Okay. Let's see if our glasses work. Oh, that's smoky. Yeah, that's Mezcal for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's like an earthy taste to the clay, mm -hmm. right? Mm. <laughs> Did you swallow the scorpion? <laughs> <laughs> Might have just had a scorpion kiss there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy. Oh yeah! Like, Look at that put wood on the stinger in there. Pretty sure it's his, his legs that <laughs> yeah. tickled my lips. <laughs>
<laughs> that's gross, man. Yeah, it occurred to me that that's what everyone wants, is really? a tiny rocket stove. Because then you could just put like a pine cone in it or like a couple little twigs and just make your cup of coffee. It's also, I don't have a lot of clay. It's pretty strong, like pretty thick walled, I mean, and it's got a pretty big base so that it's stable. Okay. And we're gonna make a little door. A little. <laughs> You're gonna put some pine needles in there. Yeah, well, it's like for little twigs. That's hilarious. Oh, Look at that. Yeah. It's for like a baby little flame. Yeah, it's like for, to put a coffee cup on. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. The world's tiniest rocket still. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll just let it cool there for a second. Wow. Okay, there it is. This guy we made out of the mud. Just out of raw dirt. And then this one we made out of raw dirt. And this one, the world's tiniest rocket mm -hmm. stove, we made out of purified clay. And now, it's time to test them. Okay, and there we go. Let's see what happens. That one got smoky. And this guy needed more breathing room, so we got some sticks. But it's going good. I think we're gonna go with a smaller pot because it doesn't have enough air, doesn't have enough chimney up there. There we go, look at that. As soon as that happens, it yep. flames right up. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Wow, that's almost was like a magical time. 22, 22, but this thing is just starting to boil. We could get a lot faster next time, eh? Yeah, it's pretty But spooky. for a maiden voyage, it took us about 20 minutes to boil two cups of water in there. So that works pretty good. Now this thing, we need to get better at using this thing because we do not have it figured yet. But give us a minute. Give us a couple minutes. We're gonna figure out this little one. And we'll show you how it really works. Okay, that actually didn't work very good. But we've been playing around with the mini rocket stove and we found its secret power. Used cooking oil. So we made some delicious, I don't know what we made in there. Corn nuts, I think, hey? Uh, Abby's famous corn nuts. Okay, how much, what do you got there, a tablespoon? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna start the timer. I wanna see how long one tablespoon of cooking oil will burn in this thing. Start the timer. And we got my mega cup. <laughs> this is like a one and a half liter cup. <laughs> But we'll have, we'll just fill it up enough for a cup of coffee. Over eight minutes of burn time. This thing is still going strong. No sign of letting up. One tablespoon of oil has been burning for 19 minutes. It is steaming, but I don't think I'm gonna get a boil out of it. But I'd say steaming is a win here. We're gonna make a cup of coffee out of this. What do I do? Pour it in the top. Oh, that's actually a oh. lot of water. It just doesn't look like a lot when you have a mega cup. <laughs> like it's as big as your head, Abigail. 
This thing is still burning. That's a lot of burn time. Over 20 minutes. That's amazing. Oh, that's perfect. I think the coffee tastes better when it takes 20 minutes to boil. Look at this thing go. Oh, cool. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's really cute. I know, but it's also pretty powerful. It burnt 25 minutes on one tablespoon of oil. What? Yeah. That's really neat. Look at that. We're doing a new thing. This is probably gonna be the best amazing thing because we learned a few things. I think I just said things like three times.